Have you ever imagined what it would be like to see a dinosaur? What if that dinosaur was as tall as a house? Meet the Brachiosaurus, one of the biggest dinosaurs to ever walk the earth. Let's dive into the amazing world of this colossal creature and discover just how big it really was. The Brachiosaurus was a type of sauropod dinosaur, which means it had a long neck, a long tail, and a huge body. Imagine a dinosaur that could reach up to 80 feet, that's about the length of three school buses, and weighed as much as 50 tons. To help you picture that, think about the weight of a small car. Now, imagine a dinosaur that weighs 10 times more than that. Isn't that mind-blowing? One of the coolest things about the Brachiosaurus is its long neck. It wasn't just long for show, it helped the Brachiosaurus reach high up into trees to munch on leaves. While many dinosaurs had necks that were horizontal, the Brachiosaurus had a neck that pointed more upwards. This unique shape allowed it to eat leaves from the tallest trees, just like how we might reach for the top shelf in a kitchen. By being able to reach high, the Brachiosaurus didn't have to compete with other dinosaurs for food that was closer to the ground. The Brachiosaurus lived during the late Jurassic period, about 154 to 150 million years ago. Imagine a world filled with giant ferns and towering conifer trees, just the right buffet for a hungry Brachiosaurus. It roamed in what is now North America and parts of Africa, where it could find plenty to eat. Scientists believe that these gentle giants were herbivores, which means they only ate plants. Just like how some of us choose to eat salads and veggies, the Brachiosaurus loved its leafy greens. But how did such a huge animal stay healthy? Well, just like us, they needed to drink water. Brachiosauruses likely spent a lot of time near rivers and lakes, where they could easily drink and cool off. You can imagine them swaying their long necks down to sip water, just like how an elephant uses its trunk. And since they were so big, they needed a lot of water every day. You might wonder how such a large creature could move. Although it was massive, the Brachiosaurus had strong legs to support its weight. Its front legs were longer than its back legs, which is different from many other dinosaurs. This helped keep its body lifted high off the ground, making it easier to reach for those tasty leaves up in the trees. Now, let's think about how the size of the Brachiosaurus affected its life. Being so big had its advantages, like having fewer predators. Not many dinosaurs would challenge a creature that weighed as much as 10 elephants. However, being large also meant that the Brachiosaurus needed to eat a lot of food. Imagine having to eat all the time just to keep your energy up. So, how big was the Brachiosaurus? It was truly massive, towering above many other dinosaurs, and had a unique way of living that helped it thrive in its environment. Now that you know about the Brachiosaurus, why not imagine what it would be like to have one as a pet? Draw a picture of your very own Brachiosaurus and show how you would take care of it. What would you feed it? Where would it sleep? Would it fit in your backyard? Let your imagination run wild. Have you ever heard of a dinosaur called Tyrannosaurus rex? It's one of the most famous dinosaurs in the world. But do you know what the name Tyrannosaurus actually means? Let's dig into this exciting topic. The name Tyrannosaurus comes from two Greek words, Tyranno, which means tyrant, and Saros, which means lizard. So, when you put them together, Tyrannosaurus means tyrant lizard. Isn't that a cool name? This giant dinosaur lived about 68 to 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. With its fierce name, you might imagine a huge, scary creature, and you'd be right. The Tyrannosaurus rex, often called T. rex for short, was one of the largest land carnivores ever to walk the earth. It could grow to be as long as a school bus and stand as tall as a small house. With its massive head filled with sharp teeth, T. rex was definitely a predator, meaning it hunted for food. But what did it eat? Well, T. rex loved to munch on other dinosaurs, like Triceratops and Edmontosaurus. The T. rex had some amazing features that made it a powerful hunter. Let's talk about its teeth. T. 
teeth Rex had about 60 teeth, each one as big as a banana. These teeth were perfect for biting into the thick skin of other dinosaurs. Plus, T. rex had an incredible sense of smell. It could sniff out its prey from miles away. That's like being able to smell your favorite cookies baking in the oven from down the street. But being a tyrant lizard wasn't just about hunting. T. rex also had some unique behaviors. For example, scientists believe that T. rex might have been a social dinosaur. This means it could have lived and hunted in groups, much like some of the animals we see today, such as lions. Imagine a pack of T. rexes working together to catch their food. Now, let's talk about something really interesting. How did the T. rex and its dinosaur friends go extinct? About 66 million years ago, a giant asteroid struck the Earth, causing massive changes in the planet's climate. It blocked out the sun, leading to a huge drop in temperature. Plants couldn't grow, and without plants, the herbivorous dinosaurs had no food. Eventually, the carnivores, like T. rex, ran out of food too. This big event led to the extinction of about 75% of all species, including our fierce friend, the T. rex. Even though the T. rex is no longer around, it still fascinates many people today. You can find T. rex skeletons in museums, and scientists continue to study them to learn more about how they lived. Isn't it amazing that a dinosaur that lived millions of years ago still captures our imagination? So, what do you think? Would you like to be a T. rex for a day? Or maybe you could come up with your own dinosaur name. Try creating a dinosaur name using Greek words. For example, super means great, and pterosaur means winged lizard. Combine them to create a name for your very own dinosaur. Dinosaurs are full of surprises, and every time we learn more about them, it's like discovering a new piece of a giant puzzle. What do you want to learn about dinosaurs next? What is the smallest dinosaur ever discovered? Did you know that not all dinosaurs were gigantic, towering creatures? In fact, some of them were so small that they could fit right in your hand. The title of the smallest dinosaur ever discovered goes to a tiny creature called Microraptor. Let's dive into the world of this little dinosaur and explore where it lived, what it ate, and how it behaved. Microraptor was just about the size of a crow, measuring around 2.5 feet long, about 76 centimeters, from head to tail. Imagine a dinosaur that could perch on your shoulder. This little dino lived about 120 million years ago during the early Cretaceous period, in what is now China. It had feathers, just like birds, and scientists believe that it could glide through the trees. Can you picture a tiny dinosaur soaring from branch to branch? Now, you might wonder what Microraptor ate. This little dino was an omnivore, which means it enjoyed a variety of foods. Fossil evidence suggests that it snacked on fish, small mammals, and even other small dinosaurs. Imagine it swooping down like a tiny, feathered ninja to catch its dinner. One of the coolest things about Microraptor is its unique features. It had four wings. Yes, you heard that right, two wings on its arms and two on its legs. This special design helped it glide through the trees and catch prey. Scientists think that Microraptor used its wings to maneuver through the air, much like how a squirrel glides from tree to tree. Isn't that amazing? The habitat of Microraptor was probably lush and filled with tall trees, similar to a tropical rainforest. With so many places to hide, it could sneak up on its food and stay safe from larger predators. Imagine living in a world filled with giant dinosaurs while being just a tiny creature. It must have been an exciting time to be a little dino. Now, let's talk about how Microraptor fits into the big picture of dinosaur history. It's important because it helps scientists understand the connection between dinosaurs and modern birds. In fact, many scientists believe that birds are actually descendants of dinosaurs. This means that when you see a bird flying in the sky today, it might be a distant relative of our feathered friend, Microraptor. Wow! Here's a fun fact, Microraptor had iridescent feathers, which means they could sparkle and shine in the sunlight, just like a rainbow. 
Imagine a tiny, glittering dinosaur flying through the trees. It would have looked like a magical creature. So, what can we learn from the smallest dinosaur? Microraptor teaches us about the diversity of dinosaurs and how they adapted to their environments. Even the smallest creatures can have a big impact on their ecosystems. They remind us that being small doesn't mean you can't be mighty. Now that you know about Microraptor, why not try a fun activity? Draw your own version of a tiny dinosaur. Give it colorful feathers, unique features, and a special habitat. What will it eat? How will it fly? Get creative and let your imagination soar, just like our little dinosaur friend. What do you think your dino would look like?